Hi everybody, if you have seen my videos before, you might know that I am a fan of McGolfin speakers. I have reviewed the EST69, the EST69 Pro Max, the X10, the X10 Dual, and now the X10 Mini. You might be saying to yourself, McGolfin, are they just for golf? No, but I can see why you might think that. But the X10 Mini is great for golf for a very good reason this magnetic mount. I am not kidding. If you attach this to something metal, you will find it difficult to remove. Not impossible, but it's not coming off by accident. In addition to the magnetic mount, you also have this built-in but removable lanyard and a branded carabiner. I will not sugarcoat the fact that I hate these buttons. Black on black, unlabeled imprint, only multi-function buttons. But that's just the industry. Inside the X10 Mini, you have a two inch full range 10 watt driver. And then on the rear, you have a passive radiator to accentuate the base. Behind this rubber plug, you have a USB-C charging port and a TF card slot. I have tested quite a few golf speakers and very few of them are actually waterproof. The X10 Mini is IPX7 waterproof. That means you can put this thing underwater at a depth of three feet for 30 minutes and it will keep playing. The main thing I like about McGolfin speakers is they sound fantastic and the X10 Mini is no exception. Even at maximum volume, this thing will not distort for any kind of music. You might be saying to yourself, 10 watts, that can't be very loud. Well, how about 20? That's right, these things are sold in pairs. And if you play these at full volume on the golf course, I think you're going to get a talking to. The X10 Minis come bundled as two speakers? Oh yeah. And do they support TWS mode? Oh yeah. In case you don't know, TWS stands for True Wireless Stereo. That's when you have a pair of identical speakers like these and they connect wirelessly in a left and right channel fashion. That's so you can have stereo speakers and not just two speakers that are playing the same thing. This is not just TWS mode. This is the best implementation of TWS that I've ever seen. Not that I've seen that many, but still it's awesome. All you do is press power on both and they connect automatically. There is no synchronization. There are two things to remember about TWS mode on the X10 Minis. Number one, turn your speakers on before you activate Bluetooth on your source device. The other thing is TWS mode doesn't seem to work with the TF card slot. I don't know if it can't. I don't know if it does and I just couldn't figure it out. But in either case, I was a little disappointed, but I guess I can live with it. These are rated at 15 hours of battery life. Normally those ratings are taken at half volume, which might be all you use. I mean, these things sound great loud, but if you are on the golf course, are you really going to be playing at full volume? Mm, probably not, probably not even at half volume. The Golfin also includes this nice hard shell case that has room for both speakers and the cables. The McGolfin X10 Minis aren't just for golf, especially with the IPX7 waterproofing, you can bring these anywhere. Bring them boating, bring them camping, bring them in the pool, these will be fine. But I thought these would make some interesting desktop speakers. Because these speakers are so small, it does open up some possibilities with speaker positioning. You can mount them from strings or with tripods or whatever, put them in front of you, behind you, to the side, uh, just, you can do, and I, the position drastically affects the sound. Point the passive radiator at you to accentuate the bass and bounce your full range off the walls and the ceiling. You can, there, you can have a lot of fun with this. I should also mention that the X10 Mini has rubberized coating, a metal speaker grill, and a hard plastic back. The only real weak point is this passive radiator. They say it's metal, but still I wouldn't chance it. McGolfin calls this military grade quality and shockproof. I don't know who's grading it, but it does seem pretty strong to me. How would I rate the X10 Mini? At first I was going to take away a point because it doesn't support TF cards in TWS mode. But then I thought, well, if the TF slot didn't exist at all, I wouldn't take away a point. So I'm going to give this a five out of five stars with reservations. Thanks for stopping by.